Tonight, a local woman is facing felony charges in connection with her ex-boyfriend's suicide. That's Westmoreland County District Attorney says the woman repeatedly sent him heinous and graphic messages. As Chris Hoffman reports, her lawyer says there's more to the story. According to state police troopers who were part of this investigation, they say some of the bullying and messages were the worst they've ever seen in a case like this. This is the next level or the most extreme amount of bullying that I've seen, read about, uh, heard about anywhere where someone is constantly telling someone to end their life. According to the criminal complaint, the messages started in June of 2020 and lasted for more than a year. 35 year old Mandy Roosh of Greensburg is accused of telling her ex boyfriend to take his own life on several occasions. The messages threatened the ex he would never see their daughter, owed Roosh money, and some messages contained explicit images, videos, or themes. You're talking about probably the three uh, of, the, of the biggest triggers you could have when it comes to trying to make someone feel awful. Troopers were called out to the man's apartment in June of 2021 after friends became concerned about his well being. By the time they had gotten there, he had taken his life. Roosh's attorney, Phil DeLacente, says suicide is terrible, but says this situation is a lover's spat. Other not so nice things exchanged both ways uh, said to one another, and it resulted two years later, uh, over two years later, of her being charged. The Westmoreland County DA says Roosh's ex may still be alive today if those messages hadn't encouraged him to take his own life. DeLacente argues the state is using a new statute that has barely been used. He says any time a child is involved in a broken relationship, emotions are high. We just have uh, very emotional words conveyed to another. The DA says the level of bullying and harassment rose to a criminal level. They looked at several similar cases before pursuing charges. They felt that this was more severe than the most of the cases that they had reviewed where the person was found guilty. My God, if we're going to start prosecuting people for sending harsh texts to one another versus it being verbally communicated, uh, then, then we're in a different path in our legal system.